Hello my loves, it's Kemi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see from today's title, we're gonna be trying out the new Rem Beauty Sweetener Foundation. I have got mine right here. I have been hearing a lot of good things about this foundation. One of it being that it comes in 60. I repeat, 60 shades. Did you hear me? 60 shades. Miss Ariana. I see what you're doing and I'm liking it. We love a brand that is inclusive. That is what we have been crying for. We just want inclusivity. We just want shades for everybody. I'm not gonna lie to you when I was shopping online, it was quite hard for me to pick a shade because I felt like there was three shades that I could actually use on my complexion. So hopefully the shade that I got matches me. Let's hope. So without further ado, let's just straight into this video and see what is good with this sweetener foundation have any of you guys actually tried out this foundation like i've seen a lot of reviews but a lot of it is not of people with darker complexion i feel like this foundation just dropped there was like no build up to it there was no hype about it i feel like it just came out and now everyone's talking about it like always before we apply this foundation on the skin let's talk about it so we know what to expect do you guys call this rem beauty or rem beauty because i say rem beauty I don't know if that's right. Like I mentioned earlier, this foundation does come in 60 shades. 20 of those shades caters to deep, dark skin. Online, they actually categorize it into deep and rich. And can we just get a round of applause for Miss Ariana? Because damn, like she's really saying my brand is going to be inclusive. And we love it. I'm here for it. Not only are these 20 shades look really good, they also have different undertones as well. She has a wide range of undertones. She has a classic warm neutral cool undertone. But one thing I noticed is that she also has like neutral cool undertones, neutral warm undertones, like those pairings. I feel like that's just taking it a step further. Like she's not just creating shades, like generic shades for everyone. That's something I saw on the website and I was really, really impressed by. She should have done a lot of research into this foundation, which I can appreciate, you know? The foundation does rate off a £30 which I think is a decent price for a celebrity high-end foundation product. It's within the same price range as like my NARS or like my Fenty Beauty foundations which is quite decent. So the claims on this foundation is that it is a long wearing foundation that gives a natural matte finish. It has a medium readable coverage. The one thing that a lot of people have been talking about with this foundation is that it is a skincare driven foundation. It is packed with skincare products such as hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, raspberry leaf extract. There's a whole product that will help with minimizing pores, reducing the dullness of your skin as well as you know brightening up your skin as well. So from the description of the foundation I feel like it's meant to be like the perfect winter foundation because you want that you know satin matte finish to your skin. You don't really want glowy finishing skin. Of course, we want to be longer and have a good coverage with it as well. So let's actually see if it's going to be our new winter foundation. I'm not saying you can only wear this foundation during winter, but I feel like these are the things that I look for personally during the coldest seasons of the year. So let's put her on our face. I'm not going to lie. I am really, really hoping that the shade match that I got in this matches me well. If it doesn't, I'll be really, really upset because I spent, I feel like a good 30 minutes you know, going back and forth to see which foundation shade to get. Because I wasn't about to spend, you know, £90, you know, like buying three shades. Like, babes, we're not going to do that, okay? We're not going to do it. So starting off with primer, whenever I'm trying out any foundation, I prefer to use a gripping primer, just because I don't want the primer to, like, alternate the finish of the foundation. I found that with gripping primers, the whole sole purpose of it is to make sure that the foundation stays on my face. Whether than me using, like, a matte primer or, like, a oil-based primer. So that is the reason why I'm going to be using my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And to be fair, I have been loving this primer lately. It's been really good to my skin. Alright, so let's open out her up. Ooh, can I just say, the packaging of this, love it. I was quite disappointed when I found out that this was actually plastic, not glass but really really sleek gorgeous packaging like the packaging alone is stunning we like this i like this package this package is, might be one of my favorite packages of all times by the way the shade that i picked up in this is rich 3n it looks like it could be a good match but you guys know that sometimes the bottle is deceiving very very lightweight it does feel a little bit you know cheap but i'm not too fast oh that might be a good match. The consistency of this, I don't know how to describe it because it's not thick, but it has that thick look to it because it's very soft, as you can see right here. 
I don't know if you can see that, like it look, it's very, very soft. It's like moussey in a liquid form, kind of. Oh! Okay, okay. I'm liking that shade match. Let's blend her out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Right now, cousins, I am speechless. Like, what? Are we seeing the same thing? Miss Ariana, what have you done? Are you serious? Like, are you actually serious right now? Rem Beauty. Are you kidding me? Like, what? First thing, the foundation out blend out like a dream. Definitely a medium coverage. I don't think you need to go with an extra layer because it is a full true medium coverage. Dare I say, moving to the full coverage spectrum. If you guys watch my videos, I usually go in and you know cover up my under eyes and around my mouth. Didn't do that today because I really want to see the coverage of the foundation. Under eye circles, you guys can still see it, but I didn't really put that much foundation underneath there anyway. But around my mouth area, baby, she is covered up. Like gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but i will say the claim of it being a matte foundation i don't see it um even a satin matte finish foundation would not be this glowy but i'm not complaining because i actually like the finish of it to be fair the foundation does claim to be hydrogen as well so i think that is why the finish of the foundation looks like this feels like air eh on this skin like it doesn't feel like i have anything on my face and the foundation shade that i got talk about a match like let me put myself in a bit it could have went wrong but i'm glad that i got this shade rich 3n because it really does look good on my skin let's go and finish off the rest of the face and see how it performs with our other products concealer i'm going to do a mixture of my kvd good apple concealer in the shade tan 177 and my l'oreal infallible 24 hours fresh wear i think going in with the kvd first L'Oreal underneath. Oh! Can't really remember if I actually like this, but we're gonna use the Rem Beauty Sweetener Concealer. This is in the shade Rich 7NW. I didn't realize they've done the same with, you know, a wide range of undertones with the concealers as well. I think like that's something that I didn't really, you know, notice when I first tried this out. This is the shade, by the way. Let's see if it's deep enough. It is! Why did I use this often? Oh, because it's more of a neutral undertone, that's why. Oh, this is nice. I'm just gonna go with my Huda Beauty concealer. This has more of a reddish shade to it, just to you know warm up that shade I just used. What I'm really looking for is to see if like my concealers or like any products that I apply on top are gonna act different than they normally do and so far everything is acting its usual way like i'm not getting any patchiness nothing separating because some foundation does do that when they don't pair wear with like other products but that is not the case with this foundation so far anyway actually i should probably use the sweetener concealer as well but i just feel like this is a tad bit too light for me this is in the shade deep two golden i'm gonna grab a tiny bit a tiny bit underneath my eyes just to brighten for cream blush of course we're gonna use rem beauty because we have it this is their cream and lipstick i've got the shade broadway baby and leading lady I'm going to use both of them they are really pigmented i don't know why they use it often if i'm being honest and this is pretty much how the cream products are looking on my skin. Now we're gonna go in and start setting. I'm gonna go complete the rest of my face now and I'll be right back. All right, cousins, so we are back with the completed face. Cousins, I cannot lie, this foundation is beautiful. She is amazing. Rem Beauty got this right. This foundation, dare I say it, is perfect. There is not a fault about this foundation everything about it 
I love from the packaging to the price to the formula to the shade ranges like everything about her even like it being plastic now I actually don't mind it I think I even prefer it being plastic because that way if it was light it's not heavy Rem Beauty really did their thing with this foundation dare I say it it might be my new favorite foundation it actually might be my new favorite foundation like I love the way my skin is looking right now I would say she's up there with my house laps foundation and you guys know how much I love that foundation she's up there this foundation is actually up there like that's how much and how good this foundation is I love I feel like she's perfect for all skin types as well like oily skin babes don't be afraid you can definitely use this foundation because it is a water-based foundation as well and i'm so happy with the shade that i got like this shade is just like perfect for me i feel like i really hit the jackpot with the shade like, miss ariana and rem beauty this is top tier this is definitely definitely worth the pickup you're bound to find your shade match as well with the right undertone as well because she is gorgeous absolute gorgeous okay of course we have to do a flash test to really see if she's the one. Oh my goodness cousins absolutely gorgeous like always i'm going to put it on the screen right here this is straight from my camera road just flash nothing else i'm going to see the long wear of this but all the claims of the foundation so far 10 out of 10 it been medium coverage it been lightweight on the skin hydrating and giving a healthy looking skin all this claims right there it definitely meets it the only one i can't tell you right now is the long wear of it but i have had this foundation on my face for about two hours now i have curled my hair my lights are on the heater in the house is on as well so your girl is currently loving it i want to see how it holds up today and i want to let you guys know in the description box down below make sure you check it out to see my review on the long wear of it you guys will definitely be seeing this more on my channel so that is pretty much it for today's video cousins let me know what you think about the Rem Beauty Sweetener Foundation down below. Do you have it? Are you looking to try it out? Are you looking to purchase it? Let me know down below. Thank you cousins so much for watching. I love you guys so much and inshallah I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye cousins. Hey cousins. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing the video. Thank you so much. <laughs> we really like you subscribing but the guys don't subscribe we're going to hack you. <laughs> Stop saying that. Say bye. Bye bye.